Comes the last face detected. Out to 40 meters. 30 meters. 27 meters. 20 meters. New jump is good. Come on. Touchdown confirmed. We're safe on fire. <laughs> In space, most of the people are not so much driven by their career. Most of them are driven by the passion for their field. The winner of this year's European Rover Challenge is Team Impulse from Kielce University of Technology. Come to the States. They love what they are doing. And that's what drives their day. That's what gets them out of bed every morning. Because it's wonderful to, to work with people that are so inspired. It's this whole atmosphere of we can do it and we can find a solution. And you know, and, and if I don't know it, together we might find it. That's what I love. I think the events like this and what I see here in the European Robot Challenge is to give the opportunity for teams to develop their ideas. We are preparing our rover Trinity for uh, the scientific task. All of this wheel was designed by us, uh, starting from a dynamical simulation of the rocket boogie system. So the most important thing for the rover is structural reliability. If you don't have structural reliability, then nothing else can work after that. What you see here at the ESC is an enormous variety of uh, concept and and also development stages. There are consolidated teams that have been coming here for a few years. So previously, the suspension didn't work that, that well, which is why we had to modify it with a new mounting system there. And reliability upgrades was uh, predominantly involved with these new module boxes you see here. We have a, a five degree of freedom, so it should be enough for uh, doing the task. We have a six degree of freedom arm. To be successful is basically maybe not to achieve the final goal, but to be able to surpass different barriers. First we lost the connection to our cameras, so we were kind of blind, we could use just one camera. Without the other two cameras it was quite difficult to find the right way home while you saw what happened. <laughs> and we have whole night to repair it. We always say science engineer that paper on paper everything is working, but then when you make it real, <laughs> things that never work. So one, one message I always give them is, if they don't work, it's okay, so you're on the right track. Don't get discouraged because you learn as many things from a failure as from a success. What's been incredibly valuable for me in uh, my education and career is having mentors. You know, having either professors or more experienced engineers who I could go to and get advice from on how to start on a project or how to overcome a problem. Life is about that, you know. Life is a big challenge. And uh, I think that uh, we need to face the challenge and not give up. I believe that uh, each of us is an internal push to look and explore what next? Trying to find answers. Yeah, it's been an amazing experience. We really got to um, talk to other teams, talk to, um, ask about their countries. We got to ask about their rovers, see like all the different designs, and perhaps ways to improve our own rover for the next competition. You get you get visibility from agencies like us, from companies. They get to know other people, they know other university teams. They get to understand a bit more the field of work. They understand which companies are involved, and they can go and knock on their doors and do internships. People like this are motivated people. That's the first thing you want as a company. You want motivated workers. They are here. You also see bright people that are willing to think out of the box. And that is beneficial. Because of course, if you get motivation and if you get people that are willing to go the extra mile to think harder on a problem, your company is going to thrive. I believe that uh, what this uh, initiative uh, is doing uh, is not just uh, to have uh, students uh, building rovers, to have uh, normal people walking around uh, and getting closer to the space sector, it's much more than that. It's to train the new generation to try to find answers to their questions. Thank you.